We do want to talk about a shocking revelation, though, that came from former bachelorette Meredith Phillips about long and, her long and secret battle with alcoholism, both on screen and off. ABC's Bianca Goladriga sat down with her for an exclusive interview. These days, Meredith Phillips is taking life one step at a time. But not so long ago, she was taking them one rose at a time. First on The Bachelor, where the former model came in third on Bachelor Bob season, then as the franchise's second ever bachelorette, who got to choose between 25 men before accepting the proposal of hunky financier Ian McKee. Will you? Yes. Were you in love? Mm hmm I wasn't expecting him to, you know, give me a ring. But behind the glitz and glamour of the bachelorette, says Meredith, was a problem spiraling out of control. Meredith was an alcoholic. It's been reported that you were drinking up upwards of 20 bottles of wine a week. Is that true? It's true. I started with bottles, and then I would go for the box of wine, and then I could hide it, you know, because I could just crumple up the box. Cheers. It's widely known that with The Bachelor comes lots of drinking. There's hardly a scene that goes by without someone, sometimes everyone, with a glass of alcohol in their hands. Was alcohol prevalent throughout all of the taping? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's. It's always right there. It's the 26th person in the room. Yeah. It's alcohol. Alcohol, yeah. Meredith says her drinking problem went from bad to worse when her engagement to Ian was broken off and when both of her beloved parents died in the span of four years. What was your lowest point? Waking up after blacking out and I cut myself or hurt myself, you know, unintentionally. Meredith admitted herself to a treatment program where she remained as an inpatient for two months. Now sober for more than six months, she says every day, including sunny ones like the one we spent at New York's Hudson Hotel, remain a struggle. We're here in an outdoor bar space, nice weather, there are people drinking. Does that make you want to drink or how does that feel walking through here? It doesn't make me want to drink. Newly married to her high school sweetheart, Meredith says she's now working on remodeling her Portland, Oregon home and trying her hand at modeling again. I've had a really, really hard four years and I'm getting my strength from my weakness. I want to see what I have because it's not over yet. <laughs> For Good Morning America, Bianca Goladriga, ABC News, New York. Good for her. Yeah, yeah. good luck. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed.